Hey, welcome back to another RIPAD update where we identify, summarize and comment on developments that impact access to newer healthcare technologies. Uh, we only focus on resources that are in the, the public uh, domain. So two updates um, in this uh, real quick video. The first uh, relates to UAE. Uh, the second update also relates to the United Arab Emirates. Um, and this is interesting results uh, coming out uh, for Sotrovimab. Um, for COVID-19 um, patients, uh, particularly those that are advanced um, and are in, in hospital uh, and facing severe conditions. Um, and these are some preliminary results uh, coming out of Abu Dhabi reported on the 30th of June, just the, the other day. Um, as you know, the UAE was amongst the first uh, country uh, group of countries to uh, recommend and approve the utilization of Sotrovimab. Um, and there are already 658 patients that have utilized it um, in the, the market. Um, as you know, it's an antiviral, it's a monoclonal antibody. Uh, between the 16th and the 29th of June, uh, Sotrovimab was utilized in amongst those group of patients, approximately 50% citizens, 50% uh, residents, and the, the results uh, look pretty good. So 97.3% of recipients showed improvement within five to seven days. And the, the additional complicated in fact, in the, the UAE and also many other countries is that patients that are in hospital with COVID-19 have multiple comorbidities, uh, obesity, cancer, kidney disease, lung, cardiovascular, diabetes, hypertension and allergies uh, in, in particular. So the, the fact that they're achieving uh, this success rate um, and, and improvement amongst these group of patients, a fairly large group of patients, is, is really good news. Um, this initiative is facilitated by the Department of Health in Abu Dhabi, um, together with their um, centralized uh, procurement entity, RAFID. So um, some really important work that uh, is being done um, in the, the region uh, and facilitated by uh, Etihad uh, Cargo 2. Uh, which brings me on to the, the second update, and this uh, relates to the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines globally. Um, and this comes from a, a government webpage, uh, u.ae, on the, the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines globally, um, a HOPE consortium that's been put together. This is led by the Department of Health in, in Abu Dhabi, together with uh, other stakeholders. They are listed here on the, the first page. Um, so Etihad Cargo, because uh, of course this is a key part of the logistics and the supply chain. Um, Abu Dhabi Ports Company, because this is where it's being stored. That's a transportation arm. This is a procurement arm, Rafid, as part of um, Abu Dhabi's uh, developmental holding company. Um, uh, SkyCell to manage the um, cold chain management for the vaccines as they move across the, the world. So pretty bold objectives here in this um, public-private partnership. Whoop, that's a little too large. Public-private partnerships in the, the UAE. Uh, supply chain management, and they're looking at uh, 18 billion vaccines distributed by the end of 2021. That's a, a, a tall order to, to face, but they do have, of course, the uh, logistics, the, the supply chain put in place, and with the collaboration of each of these stakeholders, amongst other freight forwarders too, um, I'm sure that would be um, achievable. Um, more details um, pertinent uh, to this update. Um, so this just um, mentions what each of the, the stakeholders would be um, responsible for doing. Etihad, the actual distribution, SkyCell monitoring the, the cold chain. Um, and then Emirates Airlines in Dubai is also um, has similar infrastructure, but probably a little bit um, less compared to, to Abu Dhabi. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, where their vaccination hub is based in, in Dubai South, they currently have capacity to hold uh, uh, 10 million vials of vaccines, temperatures 2 to 8 um, degrees Celsius, and um, these uh, vaccines are then stored and shipped uh, globally, both regional and global uh, distribution. The, the 10 million vials vaccine um, uh, capacity seems a, a little low, um, so there, there may be expansions in, in the space in the, the future as well. And then the, the rest of the, the update just provides a, a little bit further news regarding the uh, the HOPE uh, Consortium initiative. Anyway, so that's a, a quick update. Thanks so much for connecting. Take care. Bye.